it will show up again. It will certainly show up when you count your blessings at the end of your life and you say, by golly, why am I sick? Why am I not feeling well? And it may be all because throughout your life you did not get enough sleep. But that's the second school of thought. First, the magic bullet, waiting for signs. Second, our lifestyle changes that, uh, that we are proposing, which is very important and it's obvious that we should be entertaining them. But third, there is a third school of thought. It rediscovered what many of our ancestors and ancient peoples have known already. Jim talks about it all the time. What does that mean? After much research, we can now say that we have discovered and rediscovered this third school of thought. It embraces lifestyle changes. It says these lifestyle changes of getting enough sleep and exercising and looking at your food. This is urgent. It is very important. But in addition, in addition to these lifestyle changes, we go beyond and we look at quantum physics, which is scientific again. And quantum physics tells us a lot of the third school and how we can maintain our health to a very long age. It's not the question of aging that really concerns us so much, is it? But what concerns us is getting sick while you age. Degenerative diseases are important to recognize while you're being able to age. So, aging is fine, but we want to age in a way that keeps us vigorous, healthy, and youthful looking. That may be another challenge that most of us have to consider as well. <coughs> now, let's look at the new science of quantum physics and what it tells us about the science of aging. And now we're going to have a look at the quantum physics and a look at the thumbnail and a thumb sketch. Let's have a look at that, Christina. As you can see, on the left-hand side, is a thumb. The second photo that shows us is a smaller version of the thumb and now we're looking at almost <coughs> at a cellular structure on the third page. The third photo will show you how we go from the thumb, smaller, smaller, to the cellular structure within the thumb. In other words, we're getting smaller and smaller. The fourth one, and then the, the fourth one shows you um, a minute cell structure. The fifth one shows mitochondrion, which are the batteries in each cell. These batteries convert what the body takes from the bloodstream and converts it into energy. And while that takes place, that system and that process takes place of conversion into energy, the whole process of oxidization begins. Simply by breathing, we are getting older because we're oxidizing, meaning oxidization takes place simply by living and breathing. Now you add food to it, and not proper food, not the great foods that Gabriele was talking about, but the sugars and the fats and uh, the sweets and so on and they will add a lot more of these atoms and this process of oxidization and it speeds up and becomes accelerated and consequently you age much faster when this process of acceleration of oxidization takes place 